And those are the last two walking corpses we need. That actually only took a few minutes. Got a few goddess statues out of the deal as well. So now I am perfectly happy to go and fight the boss. Get out of here. Oh, actually, I also... If memory serves, I believe the goodie bag triggers on one of these screens. So, in order to manipulate the goodie bag to appear, you just go in and out of the screen transitions. I only think he spawns up here. I'm actually going to look that up. Yep, I was right. They do spawn up here. I've done this for a while now, and I can't get them to spawn, so I'm assuming that the walkthrough I looked at was wrong. Well, anyways, there's this rope here. It's the longest rope in the entire game. And that takes us all the way down to the bottom of the mountain. How about that? It's the penultimate room before the boss, and our final shortcut. Takes us back to the beginning. Now, before I leave, I'm going to figure out where the goodie bag spawns, and I'm going to let everybody know where it does spawn. Here we go! Goodie bag spawns up at the top of the mountain, near the fence, next to where we found the enforker. Or fought the enforker. Excellent. Man, that took a while to get him to spawn, though. So much manipulation. Anyhow, I'm just glad I found one. Because as long as you find one on the course, it counts. And then I can just farm the rest on an easier course. Because this is not an ideal course to farm goodie bags on. Anyways, we're going to move up here to the boss room. <laughs> Welcome, Rocket. <laughs> I'm one of the big three. I go by the name of Harvest Loon, Master of Scythes. A plus name. I hear you defeated one of my number at Mount Krakatroda. I only suspected Podbelly was a useless layabout, but the big three was one short. I'm not interested in reaping weedy little slimelets like you. Here, a present for you. At least it might give my scythe something to bite on. Potbelly was just a puny urchin with an urn. I'm a psycho with a scythe. I'm not the plob's number one blade master for nothing, you know. <laughs> You'll see. So this is Harvest Loon. He's a bit more difficult than Potbelly was. So he's gonna throw his stuff at us, we just need to hit it back with our Slime Knight. So if he does this, we can literally just rapidly swing our blade at the scythe, and it'll knock him back. You can also just do a jumping float over it. But yeah, just redirecting his scythe at him is the way to go. Yeah, you can also do like the jump hover. And that basically accomplishes the same thing. But hitting it with your Slime Knight's a little faster. If you can hit him with two of the scythes, you're doing well. It was nice of him to give us this slime knight just so we could kill him with it. Alright, he's almost two thirds of the way dead. This is a pretty awesome fight, because you get a slime knight for it. It's the only fight in the game you actually get a slime knight for. Alright, here's his final move. He's gonna summon a bunch of little Grim Reapers to go after us. We can just hit him with this Slime Knight. Just make sure you redirect his little Scythes back at him as well. And the more HP he's lost, the more of these guys he summons. It's a pretty epic fight, though. You're basically fighting the Devil. Or the Devil meets the Grim Reaper. 
He's also got a lot of tails on him, you'll notice. He's got at least three. Just a little farther. Goodbye, Harvestin. No! No! A puny, squelchy little slime! It's not possible! So now, what a lot of people don't know, you can actually knock this out of the ground. And it's a piece of ammo we can bring back with us. That's also the only way in the entire game to get it. Dear Goddess, I knew you hadn't forsaken me. Um, excuse me, could you help me? I'm a servant of the Almighty Goddess, you know. Good Goddess, it's you, Rocket. What a righteous young slime you've become. Still, we can talk about that back in town. Let's use that teleporter and be gone. It's Flabot Francisco. You know, Flabot Abbott. Let's take all these things back to town, shall we? We saved the last ten slimes! On, call my bluff. And we get a Vulcan gun as the reward. There's only a finite amount of Vulcan guns in the game also, so keep that in mind. And we got a bunch of stuff to take as souvenirs. Excellent. You head back to town together with Flabot Francisco. Or Flancisco, I'm sorry. Flabot Francisco! I keep saying Fran, it's Flan. The goddess will reward you for this, Rocket. Thank the goddess that you're not hurt, Flabot Flancisco. I'm sorry you've all had to worry so much. Brave Rocket here came to my rescue. I can't thank you enough, Rocket. Now you must get some rest. Tomorrow will be a busy day, so you'll need to get your strength back. And we're back in town. And sure enough, Pooey's parents are living in our house. Big Daddy and I have been taking tea together a lot lately. I enjoy a bit of men's talk. Pooey never washes his hands before meals, no matter how many times I tell him. That boy. I mean, he does have, like, eight hands. Just look at the state of the town, Flabot Francisco. <laughs> My beloved Slimenia reduced to this mess. Whatever is broken can be fixed, your royal wobbliness. We should have everyone working to restore Slimenia to its former glory. He's right, your wobbliness! We can't give in to this! First things first, we'll start by cleaning up the town and the palace. Oh yeah, now we actually fix up the town. You heard that, didn't you, son? We've all got to pull together and tidy this place up. Whoa, we knocked the, the, ta the cement tails away. Oh, doesn't that look nice? It's Rocket's house. Dr. Sid is like, hmm, what should I do here? That's a lot of firewood, that is. Dr. Sid, you are a gem. Oh, this part's pretty cool. There's the giant iron ball in the palace. We rig it up to this Schleeman tank and just pull it away. Pretty awesome. Hey, we rebuilt the palace! Yeah! Now it looks so pretty. You and the other Boinberg slime habitants make the town spig and span again. Thanks to everyone's efforts, the palace and town look, hmm, <laughs> respectable again. Now we need to channel the same enthusiasm into defeating the Plob. The Goonins are investigating the Plob's movements as we speak. They should be back at any moment. Hmm, <laughs> excellent. 
totally unexcellent radical news flash coming up. Speak of the devil, what's your report, Tom? This is serious, you royal wobbly dude. Something bad's going down. What is it? Calm down and speak sense, slime. Allow me to give you our report, your royal wobbliness. The Plob are trying to evacuate something, excavate something close to Mount Krakatroda. There are large numbers of Platyosi at work there. I picked up something else. They're trying to dig up the dark... Uh, dark... What was it now? It wasn't dark, dude. Dark angel, maybe? That's preposterous! Blasphemy, even! You must be getting confused with Arch and Archangel. Uh, well, it wasn't Dark Rain, Gel. Bruh, what was it? Come on, think! Was it Dark Glasses, Dark Matter, Dark Wonder? Bodacious, brah! That's nearly it! It sounded a bit like Dark Wonder. Dark Wonder? It, it wasn't a dark one, was it? Yo, Bo! That's it! Awesome! That's what I heard them talking about. It was the Dark One. The Plob are trying to dig up the Dark One. <laughs> the Dark One? That doesn't sound good. If they're trying to raise the Dark One, it most certainly isn't good. <laughs> if this information is correct, we could be in a mortal danger. I want you to go there, Rocket, and put a stop to the Plob's evil plan at once. We have nothing more to report your royal wobbliness. Sayonara. Be careful, Rocket. It is a place that hides many evils. Uh, good luck, boy dude. Remember, slime's rule. Hmm, take due care, Rocket. Eat this before you go. You'll need all the strength you can muster. And our life increased by one. Look at all that HP we have now. Holy cow. Alright, it might be a long episode, but we can cut a lot of that out, most likely. Anyhow, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to the Tomb of Tutenschleimen, and I want to max out on Pixies, and Mimics, and Hammer Hoods, at the very least. And also collect the first Cacti Ball. And hopefully collect a goodie bag in here as well. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Here's a Cacti Ball. Um, I didn't want to shoot it out of the cannon, though. That seems dangerous. I didn't want to shoot me out of the cannon, either. Let's throw him on the sand cart, and... Yeah. I'm not going to max out myself out on Cacti Balls, because the next place that we go to, is it's a lot easier to farm Cacti Balls on that level. That said, if I see Cacti Balls, I'm gonna throw them on the cart. almost maxed out on pixies, I'm also picking up catnips that I find along the way, because there's at one point in the game I'm going to need 20 of those. Possibly more, depending on what alchemy I do. Nope, I've already been to that tank battle. Here's the best place to farm for mimics, there are two of them right in a row. Oh, if pixies picking up cacti balls is also really dangerous, because the cacti balls get a massive damage hitbox. Wow, it uh, looks like I'm going to be getting quite a few Cacti Balls as well. Well, that, that fits, that hits my Pixie quota. Got 30 of them now. And now that it's nighttime, I'm going to go hunting for, hunting for ghosts. Ghosts are a bit easier to farm for on this level than they are on Mount Krakatroda. They appear a little more frequently. Alright, there's one. <laughs> I love how you can walk right on top of the Platypunks and they don't wake up.
Alright, it appears those are the two places where the ghosts appear. So really just get into a loop, hit this guy, throw him on the cart, and then just go in like a counterclockwise loop. Along the way you can pick up mimics, catnips, hammer hoods, and cat battles. And jail cats if you want, but jail cats are pretty easy to get on the forward forest as well. Eh, I'm gonna stop picking up cacti balls, I think. Because again, they are easier to get on the next level. I also believe the goodie bag appears on that square uh, that I was just on as well. So I will go back there and manipulate him into appearing later. But not right now, because we only have a little bit of nighttime hours left. And ghosts don't spawn unless it's nighttime. Too much Tutenschleimen is a great place, though, to farm for a lot of the different monsters in the game. Wait, whoa, the Mimics got replaced with regular treasure chests. I did not know that could happen. It's kind of hilarious, actually. Actually, no, I think the goodie bag appears on this screen. I seem to recall this was the screen where, like, I saw a goodie bag, and then left, and I'm like, no! Yep, here he goes. Hey, dude. Get back here. Oh, interesting, you can't throw him in the cannons. That's good to know, actually. Wait, get back here! Also, if, you, if, they can, if they stay on screen for too long, they can eventually just disappear. Which is really annoying. Hey, I got a goodie bag on this level, though. Very happy with that. Here we go! Now my mimics are back. Only I could pick them up. Because mimics can actually be a bit dangerous. Their bites are pretty powerful. Yeah, cacti balls don't even appear until you've beaten this level. And then they just kind of appear everywhere. Well, I've got the pixies down. I'm actually kind of close to getting cacti balls, which is humorous. And I only need three hammer hoods left. I still need quite a few ghosts. Which is a bit irritating, because ghosts... Ghosts can be a bit difficult to... Not so much difficult, but as much as just annoying to collect. Because they spawn infrequently. They only appear on a few screens. And not in plentiful numbers. Alright, nighttime. On for my ghost. Wow, another goodie bag while well, I'm grabbing him. Really, I should have grabbed that ghost. I thought. I thought. So the goodie bag does appear on this screen. I was right. Alright. Throw in the chest away. I don't need that. So I'm basically going to go in this little loop. I'm going to grab the ghost, grab the other ghost, throw them both on the cart, then go back. Except this first trip, I'm taking the goodie bag and I'm also going to get one more mimic. That'll give me up to 30. Ouch. Goodie bags are really obnoxious to get your hands on as well, so I'm very happy I got one. Oh, sweet! That worked out. Right. Stupid cats, get out of my way. Alright, final mimic. I don't know how I keep getting these cacti balls. Because for the most part, I'm not even throwing them on the carts. I'm guessing the pixies must be throwing them on the carts for me. Like, while I'm picking up the ghosts on other screens. Excellent. If I could get the remaining ghosts I need in this one night, that would be amazing. I don't think it's going to happen. But if it did happen, then that would be awesome.
But here's the thing, you need to wait a certain amount of time before the ghosts will respawn. Alright. I already know this is going to be my last... The last time this day, uh, night cycle I'm going to be able to pick up ghosts, so I'm just going to go home now. So I didn't... I got... Every type of monster I wanted, except the ghosts. I figured I wasn't going to get the ghosts, though. I even got free goodie bags on that level. That was really good. Alright, now... We get to explore what we got in town now. Bam! We moved the 70 slime to an iron balls. Now you can get into the library. It's in the middle of the part of town that's over the bridge. It's full of book squishy. Good to know. Alright! Oh, it's you, Rocket! I'm back in business again, thanks to you! You're the gov! I buy and sell all sorts of stuff here in me shop! I reckon it could come in handy for you, eh? Drop in whenever you fancy, won't you? What do you want today, then, eh? Buy, sell, the choice is yours, so you can buy something, sell something, or say see ya. So you can sell old items you don't want for cash, except the boulders. And he also sells items. He can sell bombshells, holy water, medicinal herbs, Vulcan pellets, and toy slimes. Toy slimes are terrible pieces of ammo. They deal with one damage, and they basically just look like you on the minimap. Vulcan pellets, these deal minimal damage, but these are the ammo you can throw in the Vulcan guns to deal damage. I'm going to buy one of those just to have it. Likewise, I'm going to buy one toy slime just to have it. The rest... I don't know about the rest. I'll have to think about that. Alright, Rocket! How you doing, me old mate? Oh, you can buy stuff even from that side of the counter. Interesting. Still nobody up there. I... okay. So here's the thing I want to know. So, I got a recipe for Miracle Swords that involve, instead of Steel Broadswords... Alright, I need six medicinal herbs for that. How many do I have? I have two, so I'm going to buy four medicinal herbs. So that's like the only way you can actually get medicinal herbs consistently. You might be able to uh, make them with alchemy, but I don't think so. I'm not entirely sure about that. So this is the library that opened up. I don't think anyone's going to be in here yet. Because I, you're, they don't count on you on having 100% at this point. Still, it looks pretty cool. So if you move the ladder here and you start destroying the books... There's something good up here. Oh, yep. There's the envelope. We get a recipe for golden arrows. That's pretty cool. Except we can't make golden arrows yet, because it requires a certain item called a gold bar. We don't have those, and we don't have access to those yet. <laughs> well, they're having fun, that's good. Are you, a true f you are a true fighter, I'm going to retrain to be more like you! Alright, that's good. So many stairs, yeah, I've talked to you, alright. To the museum. Alright, we got the walking corpse here. Blah, what a disgusting statue! Thank you, Rocket! The walking corpse offered to pee in the Schwimmen tank. I'll help as long as I live, but I'm not living now! <laughs> okay, yeah. He can go in our tank. Thank you for that. Anyone up here? It's the Mimic! Clack, clack, clack. Sounds like it really likes Boinberg. The Mimic offered to be by your crew of the show tank. Okay! Clack, clackity, clack, clack. It wants to help you wherever it can. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Hammerhood! Could you do, 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 do with some help walloping the enemy in battle? I'll be, 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 be happy to join a Hammerhood good slime like you, Rocket. Hammerhood offered to be in the tank. I'll whack him, smack him, thwack him, thwack, thwack, thwack him. Just come and knock him when you need me. I 
want this statue at you. It's shiny whiny. Will you let me have it if I join your crew? Pixie offered to be in your tank. I'll work super duper hard for my shiny whiny statue. I'm always ready to go. Actually, the stream and tank's nice and shiny whiny too. Don't be taking my tank. So now we have all the statues in the first room. That's pretty cool. We have more than half the monsters recruited in our tank. Uh, I love the Boinberg music, it's so good. So there's this part of town that we haven't seen before. D what do you think goes on here? Whatever it is, I reckon it must be pretty scary. Eek! I'm really sleepy, but I'm hungry too. You good fighter! Me think good painter too! You buy new canvas? Only 500 fang gummies. Um, no. Not yet. You come again? Bob sell anytime. I want my money for tank upgrades. I heard talk about the Schleeman tank before. Grr, I can't remember what it was, though. My terrible spot voice. Tank Sports Illustrated Tank Masters Grand Opening. The world-renowned Tank Masters is now overway. This championship... <laughs> this champion auto is the passionate meeting at our world's greatest tank battlers. Watch these spaces for the latest news. Tank correspondent Mori Mori. Raguzo, are you ready for the passion? No. You want to be dulce vitae a Raguzo? I'll be waiting for you changing your minds. That's Tank Masters mode. That's like a cool bonus tank mode you can do. At any time, really. I'm not going to do it till I beat the game, though. That'll be like a bonus episode. Let's check out the palace now that it's all fixed up and stuff. Ooh, it looks so much nicer now. The Goonins have a proper, like, boarded up hole. The ghost is in his own private parlor. Well, if it isn't my amigo Rocket, I'm having fun, fun, fun here in Boinberg. That's good, I'm glad you are. I like how you can, like, literally befriend the enemies when you get them in town. Oh, what's this? It's a new room, I do declare. I'm lacking a secretary for the princess. Food costs sore when she's in residence. <laughs> <laughs> You'll understand that when we actually meet the princess. Everybody's just having a blast in the palace. Good for them. Okay. First thing I'm going to do here... I have exciting news! Flabot Francisco is going to fight with you in the tank! Alright, great. <laughs> Alright. Crew members! Alright. So Francisco, he can seem to repair the tank. It's terrible. He will literally just sit in one space, usually the space right in front of the cannons, and be like, la la la, just sitting for like a minute before it refills a little HP. It's terrible. Oh, uh, let's see. The Pixie can use the lower cannon and the upper cannon, but he's a bit faster than some of the other characters who can do that. Hammerhood can fire like crazy or target their commander. So the Hammerhood can carry two pieces of ammo on his head, which is pretty cool. And when he goes into the Berserk Rage whenever he gets hit, it, that's good when he's targeting the commander. But when he's in a Berserk Rage, he can't load the cannon, which is kind of bad. Mimic can bring you ammo or mimic a chest, which basically means he'll go into the enemy's tank and pretend to be a treasure chest, and then when they get close, he'll bite them. However, here's the thing. What enemies use treasure chests in your tank? Pretty much nobody. So it's terrible. The walking corpse can fire like crazy. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna do Blubba. I really like having Blubba in my tank. I'm also gonna keep um, the Wordle. But I'm gonna bring in the walking corpse instead of the living statue. I think that'll do better. Walking corpse is pretty fast. Alright, now ammo. What I'm about to do is going to look a little weird. I'm going to remove everything. And then quit, and he'll just fill it up with boulders. I will come back and actually do the ammo later. But I want all the ammo in my inventory so I can get the HP upgrades pretty easily. Alright. Slime Mechanic, what you got for me? Lucky HP up, I need the Miracle Sword for... Polish the Schleeman. Raging HP up and spiritual HP up. Alright, cool. Polish the Schleeman, 50 gold and 2 cattails. 
Should've got more cat tunes. That's okay, I have to go back to Tomb of Toon Shuiman anyways, to finish collecting ghosts later on. I think I'll do that in between videos. That seems like a good idea to me. Raging HP up because of serious upgrade, expect serious results. It's only 60 coins? Heck yeah! Sometimes logic does not apply in mechanics, you have to use intuition. Free fire waters, thank you. The fire waters are not getting put to any other sort of use. Our HP increased by 80! 710 HP. This is turning into an amazing tank. Alright. Let's make our miracle sword now. Alright, Miracle Sword requires four shurikens. We have zero shurikens. Alright. Guess we're making four shurikens first off. Ta-da! Four perfectly formed shurikens. Alright, make me my Miracle Sword. Miracle Sword is cool because it deals 35 damage and also heals your uh, tank 35 HP when it hits the enemy's tank. If it doesn't hit the enemy's tank, it's not going to heal you. Oh, uh, what else can I make? I could make a blue streak. I'm not going to, though. Irritable. I would like to make the Irritable. I don't think I have one. Wait, I... Oh, I'm not using my Miracle Sword to make a boss of the sword, though. Gold arrow requires two... Oh! Only two wooden arrows? I thought it required iron arrows. Oh, dang! Never mind. Golden arrows are pretty cheap to make, once you can get gold bars easily. Could make a miracle sword as well, but I'm not going to do that. Ooh, edged... I would love an edged boomerang. I will make an iron shield happily. And I would be happy to use the iron shield I would have in my tank normally in order to make an edged boomerang. Edged boomerangs are way better. I need one of- I want to get one of each item in order to get 100% anyway, so this will work out. Plus, edged boomerangs are some of the best uh, protection you can get. They even deal semi-decent damage if they hit. Oh, you can make medicinal orbs. Don't bother making medicinal orbs, just buy them. And if you run low on cash, eventually when you get gold bars, you can sell them for a lot of money. Alright, I think that's going to do it for my alchemy. Tank's XP increased by 50, 760 HP for my tank. That's amazing. Alright, I, 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 I did not forget about the ammo. Removing everything. Adding ammo. Alrighty. Four Oracle comes, please. The Hell Scythe. The Hell Scythe is an interesting item. This is what we got from Harvest Loon. Deals 40 damage, which is pretty high. Also, if you shoot it out of the upper cannon, it will fly higher than other ammo and will basically guaranteed hit the enemy's tank because nothing can really knock it out of the sky. Pretty cool. I also have the Lightning Staff. Deals 40 damage per Lightning Strike. Doesn't actually damage it when it makes contact with the tank, but you can throw it into their tank and it'll clean a house. Vulcan Gun only deals 10 damage, not great. Vulcan Pellets only deal 5 damage, but if you throw them into the Vulcan Gun, it'll shoot them out and it'll deal 1 damage per bullet. And this is a clip of 30 bullets. Goddess Statue deals 7 damage and has Holy Powers to get rid of the Spooklier Bombs, but they're better for Alchemy. Chili Pepper, I went over that last time. I put in my Mirror Shield as well as 2 Strong Medicines, my Bustard Sword, 3 Steel Broadsword, or 5 Steel Broadswords, my bad. I'll bring in the Slime Knight. Yeah, why not? The Edged Boomerang, my free cruises. For my Holy Waters. Definitely my Golden Arrow. Two Spooklier Bombs. I have three pieces of ammo left to do. Oh, sweet! I have a lot of Oaken Clubs. At least we have nine. Excellent. 
I'm getting a more and more defensive tank, I'm noticing. No, I just did ammo. I don't want to go back. Yes, I'm very happy with that, Ductor Sid. Thank you. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this episode of Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Wait a second, I need to talk to Francisco. How lovely it is to see you. I'd love to be able to offer to record your adventure log, but Mother Gloopirior seems to have rather taken to the task. She won't give anyone else a look in. All I can do is stand here and sing. La 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 la. Alright, but for real, this is where we're ending the episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Tune in next time, we will be going to the next world. It is an enormous world, and it's actually filled with a lot of puzzles, kind of like Mount Krakatroda, which is pretty cool. And we'll also be seeing some new enemies, so look forward to that! And until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless you, my slime.